Hi, my name's Daddy. I play Clash of Clans sometimes. Well, today's video is about the wall breaker artificial intelligence and how we can use that for attack and defence to our benefit. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Cryptic. Um, his link's in my uh, comments. He, he made an, um, an awesome uh, introductory video um, that I put on my homepage for people that haven't uh, subscribed yet. And I'll, pop a, I'll, I'll release it for people who have subscribed so they can have a look at his work. Check him out. Um, he's a great guy. And I just wanted to thank you, Crypto. So, they changed uh, the wall breaker artificial intelligence significantly in the latest update. And what, what is certain is that this, the tactics we used before can't be used now. We're starting to notice stuff in the wall breakers that um, is giving us an edge. And if you use this to your advantage, then you could seriously, um, it could seriously help you. So, first of all, the wall breakers don't seem to be attracted to walls anymore. They seem to be attracted to buildings that are completely enclosed by walls. And they want to get through to those buildings. Um, so, <clears throat> what I've done with my base is I've put little builder's huts that are completely surrounded by walls. Now, before this really wouldn't matter. I put them on both sides there. And I'm having some really good success with them actually. Let me show you how it works in single player. So we're going to look for triple A. There we go, there's triple A. This is a good one because it's got two wall breakers, sorry, two buildings that happen to be fairly well exposed. So let's have a look at the wall breaker. So if we pop a wall breaker, so <clears throat> pop a wall breaker here, you're going to be attracted to the wall. It doesn't really matter if you get killed or not. What's really interesting is even if we destroy the building behind the wall, and if we pop a wall breaker down, he's still attracted to the wall. So what this says is that the artificial intelligence doesn't know that the building is actually being destroyed. So you can destroy all the buildings, but your wall breakers are still going to try and get into those now empty spaces. So what I've done with my base, <coughs> this thing cancelled. What I've done with my base is I've created little little islands. Sorry, press OK. I'm going mad. Right, so I create little islands. So the idea is, right, I've got my town hall now, here now, and it, you can see the the, the little um, shadow that opens up when you move it. You can see there's a, there's a gap there. If I move that forward a little bit, so there, oops, it creates the, 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 no, the, the zone where you can't drop. So that forces people to drop their wall breakers either left or right. And they're attracted to these, these islands here where there's a builder's hut in the middle. I chose a builder's hut because of its size. So let's see how that works in, 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 in uh, reality. I've been hammered a fair bit recently, but there's, there's one here. So this guy's attacking me. Right down here, he drops his giants, and he has to, he's forced to drop his wall breakers here, which are then attracted to the builder's huts. Now, if you depend on wall breakers for your attack, and your wall breakers get wasted on a decoy, that really, that's really a disadvantage for you. So what I'm finding is some really good success with these little wall breaker islands. And you know what, it's about three or four times now that I've been attacked in this way, and three or four times it's, it's just soaked up the wall breakers so you can't attack and can't succeed. So that's it really. Um, we're seeing some bugs in the artificial intelligence as well. It seems that with very long parallel walls, the artificial intelligence doesn't notice that the wall has already had a hole in it, so it doesn't go through to the next wall um, further in. And it starts to attack the the sort of edge of the, the hole, if you like. So what that says is that building bases that have very long parallel walls could fool the artificial intelligence, and buildings that have decoys like I've put there could fool the artificial intelligence as well. Anyway, I think that's, uh, I hope that's been useful for you. Um, the next uh, video is going to be all around raiding and using the new artificial intelligence in the raiding. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you like it, please like. If, you're, if you are a subscriber, I'm very grateful for that. Uh, but if you're not already, if you do enjoy the video, you know, stay tuned, click the subscribe button, and uh, I'd love to hear your comments as well. And thank you very much, and goodbye for now.